This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Today I wanted to make a video talking about some beginner street photography tips that you know you guys can utilize if anybody's out there trying to get into it. I realize that I've never made a video on this topic before. I don't know why. Maybe I just haven't gotten around to it, but uh, today I'm going to kind of spill out all of the things that I would recommend you either try or do before you go out shooting street photography. Now this video doesn't only apply for the beginners, I'm going to throw some stuff in there that could be useful for intermediate shooters as well as even advanced shooters as well. Um, but the whole premise of this entire video is just to get you guys out there, to give you guys a couple of different you know, tips and tricks that you guys can use to make shooting street photography a lot more comfortable. A lot of the times when I'm out shooting on the streets, I always try to keep what I carry on my body light. And the reason for this is because in street photography, you know, you're going to be roaming around different areas. You're going to be maybe even walking three to four miles. I think yesterday I did a quick little two hour session in San Francisco and I walked five miles. And uh, it may not seem like a lot, but when you're out there, it's really important that you keep your gear to a minimum. So I would recommend find a camera that is not only going to be lightweight, but it's also going to be very simple for you to use. A lot of people like to shoot with these smaller compact cameras. This is the Ricoh GR3 right here. And these are great cameras as well. You know, just stack away a couple of batteries and you are pretty much set. Other people might even just like to use their phones. There's a lot of good street photographers out there that I know that only use their cell phones. So that's another way to go about it. You want to be able to just carry one lens and one body at all times. Just make sure that you carry the minimum when it comes to gear so it's not weighing you down when you go out to make photographs. No matter what lens or camera combination you're shooting, when it comes to street photography, you have to remember that less is more. Now, in street photography, it takes a lot of confidence to be able to go out and shoot by yourself. And so one tip that I would always recommend somebody do when they're first starting out is to plan a day with your friends, a couple of different photographers, maybe two to three, and you guys all go out and shoot together. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to build your confidence because when you're with more people, uh, it almost seems like, you know, you guys are just having fun, even though you guys might be actually seriously out there trying to make photographs. Uh, and what this does for you is it just makes the entire environment a lot less nerve-wracking, if you will, and it's just going to be an overall more comfortable environment to shoot in when you have a couple of different friends around doing the same thing. Uh, it's also going to be a lot easier for you guys to be seen as maybe tourists or just, you know, a couple of people having fun with their cameras. And uh, this is going to set you up in the long run for being more confident to go out there by yourself. So shoot a couple of times with your friends. I would recommend, you know, you start off with that. Once you build that confidence, once you feel like you can go out there by yourself, um, then I would try to experiment as well on, on your own. All right, guys, really quick. I want to thank our good friends over at Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Now, even if you are a street photographer, you have to have your own website to show off your work. And having a dedicated place to exhibit your images without any distractions is absolutely crucial. I built my website with Squarespace and I can't stress how easy it was to make my portfolio. There's tons of templates to help you get started and also an option to add a store so you could start selling your prints. E-commerce through Squarespace is a breeze and they really make it easy to manage invoices, add new products and provide your customers with a safe and secure checkout. Now, if you guys want to get started with your own website, head over to squarespace.com slash kingjabes or enter promo code kingjabes at checkout for 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website.
Now, one of the questions that you need to ask yourself while you're out shooting is what exactly am I looking for? And that is completely up to you. Your subject matter is going to be based off of what you are interested in. Personally, for me, I like photographing scenes. I like photographing people uh, and just, you know, these, these fleeting moments that'll never happen again. But for you, it might be different. For others, it might be different. And so I would recommend you guys, first and foremost, study some different photography books, primarily street photography books. And what this is gonna do for you is, it's gonna open your eyes up more to the different kind of styles, the different genres, uh, the different subject matters that people have photographed in the past. If any of that stuff resonates with you, you can try to pull that over into your own. Uh, but I would recommend, you know, you study these because it's not only going to give you, you know, the different styles and subject matters of the past photographers, but it's also going to give you a really good reference for composition. Composition in street photography is huge. Learning how to essentially frame photographs or uh, utilize leading lines, subframes and whatnot is going to be a huge Thing for you to pick up and learn and uh, another double whammy with the photo books again is you can learn a lot of composition from the photographs that are in there so definitely definitely do more research on the different street photography books that you might be interested in and always use it as a resource not only for inspiration but for composition and overall like subject matter for street photography One of the best things about street photography is that as long as you have your camera, you can go pretty much anywhere in the world and make street photographs. So a lot of people, especially street photographers, are always looking to get the newest and best things, photographers in general. And so a lot of times we spend a lot of money on camera gear, new lenses, you know, all of these things that we think are going to benefit our photography. Uh, and what ends up happening is we end up buying all of these crazy cameras but we shoot in the same location every single time. And what does this result in? Well, it's gonna result in getting the same images over and over and over again, with the exception of maybe one megapixel more or maybe a sharper lens. So spend less money on gear and spend more money on traveling. And traveling is gonna be kind of this huge broad category. Traveling could mean gas in your car, it could mean a plane ticket, it could mean a train ride, a cruise ship, whatever it is. And the main premise behind this is you're not going to be stuck in the same location that you've always been shooting and you're going to go out there and you're going to make images with different scenery, different environments, different people, different light. Uh, you know, images made in Cuba are going to look so much more different than images made in Chicago. And so getting out there, traveling a little bit and really just prioritizing where your money goes because a lot of people overlook how good our cameras are nowadays even if you're shooting film whatever film camera you have i don't care what it is it's good enough honestly man spend your money on traveling put yourself in different places places that you thought you would never go and make photographs and i guarantee you you're gonna get far better enjoyment and happiness and overall photographs out of these different locations just because you traveled and you went out of your comfort zone you got into different areas and you made these incredible images so. in terms of getting better the only way to get better at anything is to always grind and practice it consistently when you practice things consistently your mind starts to you know develop these almost superpower muscle memory instincts and this is you know this goes for basketball this goes for learning an instrument this goes for anything really to put it simple you're just gonna get better and this really really shows in street photography now you don't need to like quit your job and then dedicate all of your time to making photographs you don't need to do that but what you need to do is practice even when you're not out with your camera so that means when you're in your office job or whatever whatever job you work look around you man and try to find different scenes if there's nice lighting take out your phone take a couple photographs of it you need to start to develop an active observation of your surroundings uh, which is going to be a huge crucial skill that you need to learn for street photography because if you can't recognize a scene you know a mile away you're not going to recognize one in front of you usually my day's shooting starts off with packing my gear and that's usually a camera slinged over my shoulder i usually have my leica with a film in it and then i'll pack a couple of rolls of that, head out to the city and just grab some coffee. And the first 15 minutes or so, I don't even shoot. What I'll do is I'll walk around and I'm just gonna observe kind of, you know, the mood, the energy, the scenes of the street and really get acclimated to everything that's going on. 
And once I'm kind of comfortable with everything, drinking that coffee and down in that thing, I'll usually by then feel very inspired and I'll start shooting. Uh, and you know, you gotta develop a routine, something that you can consistently practice uh, in the long run really, but still practice consistently so that you can develop your eyes for street photography. One thing I often overlook is the beauty in the process. Learning how to make street photographs isn't going to be easy. Matter of fact, it could be very scary at first, but eventually, as you put yourself through more experiences, it gets easier. So get out there with a couple of friends and have some fun. Make those world-class images you've been wanting to create. Oh, and don't forget, less is more and that the world is waiting for you to make a Squarespace website. Cheers.